Hi guys, welcome back to Fairies Tutorials and to another episode of Diet Related Health Problems. In today's episode, we'll be looking at a group of diseases. Now, based on these pictures that are floating around, are you able to tell which group of disease that we'll be looking at? Well, if your answer is cardiovascular diseases, you are correct. Stay tuned! In today's video, we'll be exploring another diet-related health process. And today's session will feature cardiovascular diseases. Now, let us look at the areas that will be explored today. So, we'll be looking at what are cardiovascular diseases, the types, symptoms, risk factor or causes, ways of preventing cardiovascular diseases, and also treatment, right? Now, let us look what are cardiovascular diseases. Cardiovascular diseases generally refers to conditions that involve narrowed or blocked blood vessels that can lead to a heart attack, chest pain, which is known as angina or stroke. Now, other heart conditions such as those that affect the heart's muscles, valves, or rhythm are also considered forms of heart disease. Now, remember, heart disease is a condition that is brought on based on narrowed or blocked blood vessels. And when a blood vessel is narrowed or blocked, therefore, oxygenated blood will have, a, will have difficulties finding its way around the body. Good? Now, if there's difficulty leading to the heart, there presents a heart attack chest pain or other heart diseases now if it's if, if there's difficulty heading to the brain then persons may have a stroke right so any condition that uh affects the heart whether it be the muscle the valves or the rhythm are considered as cardiovascular diseases and these diseases normally developed because there is a blocked or narrowed blood vessel Go. now guys let us zoom in on some types of cardiovascular diseases now cardiovascular disease includes conditions that affect the structures or function of the heart and these include coronary artery disease which is the narrowing of the arteries we also have heart attack abnormal heart rhythms or arrhythmias, heart failure, and also heart valve disease. And these are just a few. All right. Now, let us look at symptoms of heart cardiovascular diseases, or we can say heart diseases, right? So cardiovascular disease symptoms may be different for men and women. For instance, men are more likely to have chest pain. And what is the scientific name for chest pain? Starts with an A. If you said angina, you got it correct. Now, women are more likely to have symptoms such as shortness of breath, nausea, and extreme fatigue. Now, let us look at some symptoms in general. So we have, as we said before, chest pain, which is also called angina, shortness of breath, pain, numbness, weakness, or coldness in legs or arms if the blood vessels in those parts of the body are narrowed. Good? So persons may experience pain in the neck, in the jaw, throat, upper abdomen, or also in their backs. Now, one may wonder what are the causes of cardiovascular disease? Aging right so as people age their cardiovascular system becomes weaker and when we're speaking about the cardiovascular system we're talking about the blood the blood vessels and also the heart right now genetics so people who have direct family members that had 
heart disease or at a higher risk of developing it themselves good so we may say age and genetics are uncontrollable factors because we cannot can control our age and we cannot control our genes right now let us look at lifestyle so aspects of everyday life from work stress to lack of exercise and tension can increase the risk of heart diseases next cause gender so men are three to five times more likely to develop heart disease than women now there aren't any scientific study proven uh this uh, information however the statistics have been showing right so it has been showing that more men are dying from cardiovascular diseases than women and you may find out that even though some women smoke you may find out that it's a higher percentage of men who smoke therefore they are more at risk so as we speak of smoking what's in smoking so we speak of nicotine and carbon monoxide Noxide increases the heart rate now lower the oxygen levels in heart muscles and also can cause throm thrombosis and when we're speaking of thrombosis like we're referring to blood clots right the next cause could be diabetes now hypertension and blood glucose can lead to angiosclerosis and damage to tunica intima so the tunica intima refers to the inner part of the arteries, right? We also speak of dieting, right? And remember, diet is what you eat on a daily basis, good? So foods rich in fat, salt, sugar, as well as foods containing alcohol, they all increase the risk of angiosclerosis and causes high blood pressure pressure and when we speak of angiosclerosis we're referring to where the, the the arteries become stiffened and us and hardened right good now just to review the factors the risk factors or the causes remember we speak of aging right and as persons ages their risk of damage and narrowed arteries and weakened or thickened heart muscles increases we speak of sex or we may say gender right so men are generally at greater risk of heart disease however women's risk increases after menopause we also speak of family history if there's a person in the family that has a uh, heart disease before or died of heart disease it's a possibility that persons may also children and grandchildren will develop this kind of disease as well now another risk factor is smoking right as we speak before so nicotine nic nicotine constricts blood vessels and carbon monoxide can damage their inner lining now making them more susceptible to atherosclerosis heart attacks are more common in smokers than non-smokers right and also we speak of poor diet so a diet that is high in fat sugar and cholesterol can can contribute to the development of heart disease because these type of diet will provide substances or lipids and other materials that will uh, block the arteries therefore you may have a buildup and then by the time you know it there's a thrombosis right good now risk factors continuing so we speak of high blood pressure so uncontrolled high blood pressure can result in hardening and thickening of the arteries good narrowing of the vessels through which the blood flows there's also high high blood cholesterol levels good high levels of cholesterol in the blood can increase the risk of formation of plaques and atherosclerosis now all of these some of these factors are controllable and must be controlled as much as possible right so we speak again of diabetes so there's a link with diabetes as it will increase uh, the risk of heart disease 
right? So both conditions share similar risk factors such as obesity and high blood pressure. We speak of obesity as well. Now, physical inactivity, lack of exercise also is associated with many forms of heart disease and some of its other risk factors as well. And we can't leave this one out. Very important, stress. So unrelieved stress may damage your arteries and worsen other risk factors of heart disease. Now, knowing all, exploring all of those causes, how is it that one can prevent cardiovascular diseases? Now, let us look at these suggestions. So the first one is to replace junk foods with healthy foods. So foods that are high in fiber, a lot of vegetables and fruits and foods that have a lot of foods that have a lot of water content and high in the required amount of nutrients right so proportion is also important so a junk food may be full of fat sugar and salt so it is very important for you to replace junk food with healthy foods now another thing is to quit smoking as nicotine has a bad effect on the body. Next, maintain good oral hygiene. Yes, oral hygiene is very important as it is tooth decay is linked with uh, infections, having regular infections because of tooth decay can also affect, can also develop your risk of having cardiovascular diseases. So oral hygiene, is very very important next cut down on alcohol consumption exercise or walk a few miles a day and also to monitor and control the levels of blood sugar good now let us look at treatment so heart disease treatments vary by condition for instance if there is a heart infection you likely be given antibiotics now in general treatment for heart disease usually includes very important lifestyle changes and when we speak of life just lifestyle changes it is a controllable factor right so these include eating a low fat and low sodium diet right getting at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise on most days of the week, quitting smoking, and also limiting alcohol intake. Now, a next treatment could be, depending on the severity of the condition or the type of heart disease, lifestyle changes may be inadequate. So with a combination of lifestyle, lifestyle changes, Persons may have to take medications or, or in severe cases, there has to be a medical procedure or surgery. So medications. So if lifestyle changes alone aren't enough, doctors may prescribe medications to control heart disease. If medications aren't enough, doctors will recommend specific procedures or surgeries. Now, the type of procedure will depend on the type of heart disease and the extent of the damage to the heart. Right. Now that we're at the end of this session, you should be able to state what are cardiovascular diseases, list three types of cardiovascular disease, outline three symptoms of cardiovascular diseases, discuss the risk factors causes of cardiovascular disease and outline three ways of preventing cardiovascular diseases as well as to describe three treatments of cardiovascular diseases awesome you have made it to the end of the video don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell like comment and share thank you for making a fairies tutorial